Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old chick. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip. Got my bags packed with some dro lit during COVID. When I wrote this masterpiece, Magnum Opus. I ain't joking. I hope there's more for me. It costs to live. We can explore for free. Dreams of waking up on a gorgeous beach. Lazy. I never could have. The opinions expressed on this show does not reflect the ones of the Get Your Bars of Media platform. Therefore, stay at your moist ass feelings and get your bars up, you bitch. In the words of Capology Facts, hold this LTV, that is. What up, world? It's your boy, B.A. For Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, we are back up in this thing. Yes. Had a weekend off of Battle Rap. Felt good. Felt good. But then you got some situations that are floating. Some situations that are floating. What are these situations about? Let's talk about it. Battle Rap ghostwriting. Ah! In the words of T-Rex. Ghost writing is something you got to deal with. Ah, do we really? Do we really have to deal with ghost writing? But with that being said, I had to chime in and talk my ish because, you know, I don't like getting into the messy ish. You know, I love straight bars. I love talking about actual battle rap and sexual battles. But I got to talk about this specifically because I'm, a, I'm, I'm what they call a hip hop old head. You feel me? I'm uh I'm I'm in my mid thirties, you dig, and I've been following the sport since I was 15, 16 years old. Definitely been following battle rap for damn near uh, uh two decades, pretty much. But with that being said, I remember a time where, when it came to battle rap, it was all about what you put on a piece of paper and what you and what you uh what what you what you decide to 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 create out of your own mind. Now, don't get me wrong. People have always been there to say, oh, here, you should take this angle if you can. You remember this angle that happened? I understand that. That's cool. But when we start actually doing the 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 the, the plagiarism, when we start actually going into the plagiarism age where people are actually like, okay, here, let me write your first round for you. I got you here. I got a dope-ass first round. It was a throwaway, but you can use it here. And then you be like, yeah, okay, I can use it. I got a, ah, I got a problem with it. But my question to you, all of you that are rocking with me this evening, is do y'all really even care? Do y'all really care? Do y'all care about ghostwriters? Or do y'all just want to see fire material? Because I know a lot of people, out there right now, especially the newer fans who've been in a culture for probably a year, two years, maybe three, maybe three. They just want to hear fire material and they want it to be presented in a nice way. And they're still going to give the battle rapper praise and etc. But me being an old head, I just want to say, I don't know about that. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. But even though it doesn't sit right with me, I know that majority of the game does not care about battle about ghostwriting. Um, battle rap, I remember at one at one time used to be the most uncut, purest form of of hip hop, of rapping in general, of lyricism. Is it that now? No, it's very diluted. And I can use an example of. Uh, I can use the example of 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 it's a hip hop artist by the name of Drake makes fire ass music. Every time he comes out with track, he come out with bangers. People say he's one of the greatest of all time. People say this. Does he write his own music? No. Does he write majority of his music? Yes, but not all of it. Some things are referenced. Reference tracks. Look it up. But with that being said, battle rap has become that. It has become that. Now you have a lot of people got mad at me a few years ago because y'all know I've been I've been blogging. And if you are new to this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy. Share this thing if you can. But a lot of people were bypassing when I was talking about this years ago when we started like getting it when 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 I started seeing all of these people get into groups and these battle rap groups, etc. And I'm just like, why are you getting into like no. It's cool to have a camaraderie with your battle rap brethren, but nah, it's all, hey, hey, I'm trying to kill something. 
I'm trying to kill something in the ring. And when I started talking about, yo, this person is joining this group, this, this person is joining that group, people were like, nah, I'll be a, you tripping. I think we have an NWX. I think we should have a cave game. I think, I think writer block, writer's block when it was in should be like, blah, 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 blah. And that's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm okay. But I understand, like, like, I understand coming together. And if it's a if it's an angle and if it's an idea, give it you can you can get it to your fellow brethren. But when we start talking about these groups coming together, and I'm giving you bars, I'm giving you multiple bars. I'm giving you I'm giving you damn near half of your content that you come on like that that you've developed by yourself. Like other than what you develop by yourself, I think that's an issue. That means niggas is being lazy. But getting back to the Drake conversation. Some of these motherfuckers that be spitting other niggas' lyrics be fire. They be fire. They sound good. Fire. Do I agree with it? No. But I don't think a lot of y'all really care like that. I don't think a lot of y'all really care about that. I don't. At one point, I did. I used to be like, cause me, I, I, I care because I'm a battle rap old head, and I feel like, it, it, I feel like if it's not coming from you, then you shouldn't put it out. That's just me. But a lot of y'all don't care. A lot of y'all are like, yeah, as long as it was fire, as long as it was performed and it was recited the right way, yeah, 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 yeah. Get your bars up. Stop being lazy. Please stop being lazy. Because Cause that's what I look at it as. Look at it now, like battle rap right now is so, it's so diluted. It's no, it's 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 no longer uncut. It's cut up. We got a. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, it's a little baking soda in here these days. You feel me? It's a lot of. That. See, I'm not gonna talk about my past time, but it's a lot of extra stuff added into this this uh this thing that we call battle rap these days. All your like, like a lot of y'all favorite battle rappers are getting bars from other people these days. Trust me, I know, I know. Who is this nigga? Ba? He don't be talking to nobody behind the scenes. He don't know. I talk to a lot of people. I know it's unfortunate. I know, I know, I know, I know. I've been, I've only been in this culture for years. But with that being said, I don't like it. But I just feel like a lot of the people don't like it. I mean, a lot of the people don't care anymore. With that being said, if you do care and you are an old head, you got to start putting pressure on these people who are, who are being lazy, who are disrespecting the culture by writing for other people. Like, matter of fact, let me take that back. I don't knock people for writing for other people. I don't. People who are, okay, I got these bars because I know people. I know people who write bars all the time and they give it to the ladies. They give it to a lot of these fellas. They, 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 they offer their material to people. I know people that do this shit. It's, it's, it's been happening for a long time, but I don't blame them because a lot of these people ask for money. They ask for money. If that's how you, if that's how you got to provide for yourself, do that. Ghostwriting has been in the, in, in hip hop for years. But what I will say is for you, as if you are the battle rap artist, if you, if you, because I'm, I'm talking to you, because I know a lot of y'all watch my shit. If you are saying, yeah, I'll take your shit and you using it and it's getting you places. I think that I think that's disrespectful to the game. I, I really think that's disrespectful to the game. How are we supposed to save and and, 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 and conserve and preserve, should I say, hip hop at its purest form when you're not even writing your own material? Talk! Y'all niggas need to get y'all bars up. Ladies. I want to speak to the ladies specifically right now. Because I, I heard, I heard, I heard this. I heard this. Yoshi G. Quantum physics. Quantum physics. If y'all don't know who Q. P is. Time to me. The way that he breaks words down. Syllables, etc. Shit goes over your head on that loaded lux type ish. The way he be talking to people, even though his cadence is a little bit, uh, his cadence is okay, but the bar, the, the substance in his pen is fucking one hundred all the time. 
if you are out there and you are getting and you're gonna mess with QP off rip and he's giving you bars, I need you to take a look at yourself in the mirror and be like, is battle rap meant for me? Or am I just here for the bread? If I'm just here for the bread and I really don't love the culture and I think that I'm a personality that, that can sell, just like hip hop is today, and I'm not real and I'm not authentic. Just take a look at yourself, and if you can look at yourself and accept that, so be it. But if you cannot, I need you to step away and go work on your craft. Y'all niggas making me catch the battle rap. I'm Holy Ghost right now. I'm trying to keep it 100 because I'm trying. You know me. I'm Hey, B.A. is a cool guy. He laughs. He smiles all the time. Ha, ha, ha. He's cool in battle rap. I don't like this shit, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. I went like... When I came up with this term, get your bars up specifically, like on a consistent basis, shouts out to the people that probably said it before me. Gaddis, get your bars up, bitch. She probably said that years before me, whatever. But even when I would like, when I kept saying this frequently, even though I did not get this from her, but I'm still giving her her flowers because I rock with Gaddis and I know she write her own shit. Talk! But when I say this reference, when my team shouts out to my squad, when my squad says this reference, get your bars up. That's for the artists out there that are actually writing and challenging themselves to be better, to be dope. Challenging themselves to take it to another level. You feel me? Challenge themselves to, to take it to that place, to, to, to black out and take it to that place where you young fellas say, where you young people say upstairs. What's wrong with you challenging yourself to get to that next level? This is how we had people in the game establish themselves. They didn't need to go take bars from other people or have other people write and use that excuse of laziness. That's not the game. This is battle rap. This is not, we're not making songs. This is battle rap. So you're saying what you're saying from your heart, from your spirit, from your mind. Why not use it? Why not? Why do you have to go piggyback and use somebody else's ish? Another segment and another term I say is talk your ish. But how can you talk your ish if it ain't yours? Just asking. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Who is this nigga? You're talking right now. Hey, get in line. Get into it. Press that subscribe button, whatever you got to do. Even if you don't subscribe and press the like button, go check my other shit. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But with that being said, ghostwriting is something that we probably going to have to deal with because now there is a lot of finance in battle rap. Now that there is a bag in battle rap, it's a lot of people who don't have the bars, but they do have the personality. They have the charisma. And my statement to all of you who do not have the bars and you do have the charisma and personality to, to, to be great, why not challenge yourself in that in that aspect? Why not go through a gauntlet? Why not come up that way? Because I guarantee you, if you are one of the ladies in here, once again, when we get into it, because I'm elaborating and I'm going off right now because I don't like this shit at all and this shit is really pissing me off. But hey. I ain't nobody. I'm just, I'm just be a, just get your bars up. So with that being said, get your bars up. Get your bars up. Talk to this. Ah. Anyways, I know a lot of y'all niggas like, he, 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 but I'm dead serious. Got to get it together. And to the ladies, ladies, if you know that QP, if you're going to get bars from QP, you know QP is not going to be discreet and he's going to air you out. He's going to talk his ish. He's going to go through whatever feeling that he goes through. And he's going to put you out on Main Street. He's going to put you out on the Main Street and be like, yo, that's my boo. My boo, I'm going to write for my boo. She one of my itches. I got her out on the strip. She better pay me a little cheddar. If you think about QP, I'm trying to tell you. And QP, I'm not messing. I'm not trying to mess up your business, sir. Because if the ladies continue to keep uh, expecting you to write for them and they keep paying you to write for them, take their money. Take their money. But for the ladies who are giving QP this money 
and trying to advance. When people find out that respect factor and you wanted to be one of the greats at it, it's going to be a big asterisk mark. I can pull up names and say names right now of people who have them asterisks next to their name in the game of battle rap, but I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to call them out because this is not just about them. This is about all of y'all who are being lazy and don't want to step up and challenge yourselves and challenge your pen, challenge that density that you have. Everybody has a mind. And I feel like if you're strong enough and you and you have the presence and the heart to do something, to, to get in the ring and battle somebody, I'm sure that you can go and have the heart and have the mind to put something down. Will your first rhymes be dope? Probably not. But if you continue to work at it and put all of yourself into it, put your whole heart, mind, space, go study the old timers and actually get your mama mentality on, you'll be fine. And I guarantee you're going to end up where you're supposed to end up. There will be no asterisk. I don't want to speak. No, I don't. I don't want to speak on the queen because I don't know. I know everything is alleged. Oh, she stole bars. I don't want to speak on Bonnie Godiva. Oh, she stole bars. I don't want to speak on 40 bars because I've seen 40 bars. Shout out to my guy, Caps. Shout out to my brethren, Caps. I don't want to say her. I don't want to talk about her specifically because she tried to come on and she tried to state her case too. I know it's mess and people, you know, as fans, fans love messy, love messy. But at the same time, we got to fix this. And I know a lot of y'all don't even give a fuck. Y'all act like y'all do, but y'all don't. Y'all don't. But if you really love the sport and you really want it to progress and you really want to find hitters and you really want to find future stars in it who love this shit genuinely and actually want to be great in it, you got to hold everybody accountable. Hold everyone accountable. Now, if you're a new fan and you're just like, oh, my gosh, I just like this battle rapper. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's so fine. And she can, I don't care if she can rap or not. Do that. Do that. But ladies, ladies, you y'all are so talented. Y'all, all of y'all ladies, a lot of y'all ladies, there is no, like, like when it, when it comes to battle rap, there is no, like, you are not a female battle rapper. You are a battle rapper in general because y'all can beat these niggas too. Y'all can beat these niggas too. I've seen it. I've seen it. With that being said, don't like fuck taking bars from people. Fuck, fuck, fuck having people like write these rounds and shit half of these rounds. Nah, nah. Bet on yourself. Take a chance on yourself. And if you don't do well, then try again. And if that just means that this is not for you, that means battle rap is not for you. And that's for you niggas too, because there's a lot of you niggas out here that be stealing people material. A lot of y'all niggas be stealing people. Well, not stealing, but y'all be buying material from people. Y'all learn these groups. Your homeboys giving you this. They giving you these bars. They giving you this. They giving you that. Nah, we ain't doing that. This ain't battle rap. What do you call this? This is a this is a show. This is just a show. It's uh it's it's a it's a badass reality show. That's what it's looking like. Because we know a lot of reality shows ain't really reality. They plan and set up and stage all of that shit. I'm not trying to hear you if you, if your bars ain't from you. I don't give a fuck how dope it sounds. We're going to let, hey, shout out to Drake. Shout out to Drake. But we're going to leave all of that over there. We're going to leave that in the hip-hop songs. But we got to keep this culture pure. That's my only point of this whole thing, is we got to keep this pure, everybody. With that being said, I've been elaborating and talking about this from down there 20 minutes. So I'm about to go. And I, everybody that's watching this, please share just so people can understand. Or even if you don't share this shit, talk to your fellow battle rap people, personalities, personalities, etc. Um, and, and let them know, yo, challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to be great. Challenge yourself to be great. Fuck stealing shit. Okay, here's an angle that you can use. Okay, that's cool. But word for word, I'm going I'm to give you I'm gonna give you about five haymakers to put into your shit. We not doing that. Figure out your own haymakers. 
This is the only way we're going to advance. People wonder why you still got people still are looking at Loaded Lux, Murder Mook, and all of these other niggas that are up high, Arsenal, Charlie Clips, all that. Why people wonder why they like people are still looking at them. People are still looking at them because they're original. We know they write their own shit. We trust what they say is coming from them. A lot of people that are coming up right now that are in these groups and shit like that, we don't know. We don't know. The future of battle rap. Where are you at? And if you feel like you are the future, challenge yourself. Go through that gauntlet. Put on. Put on. For yourself and for your era. Put on. Because I guarantee you the real ones are going to recognize it. The league owners are going to recognize it. And the real ones are going to recognize it to the point where you're going to be weeded out from the rest of the crowd. And we're going to be like, that's that nigga right there. That's that, hey, that's that feet, hey, that's that chick right there. That's that woman. That's that goddess for the ladies. But with that being said, I got to get up out of here. This your boy, BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me. I rock with you. And if you out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not something up on my page and I've been doing this for a minute, <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute subscribe all of that good stuff y'all tell me what y'all think about this ghost writing allegations do you really care about it are you really about the culture enough to care about it or do you just want to see dope ass battles let me know me i choose the latter if i'm not I don't, i'm only dealing with the real i'm only dealing with the real the pins that are real if your pen ain't real it is coming from somebody else's pen I'm sorry. I can't fuck with it, especially if I find out. If I don't know, you try to fool me. Oh, my gosh. But once the shit hits the fan and it's leaked, I'm definitely not fucking with you. And I'm holding all of y'all niggas accountable. All of y'all. All of y'all. All three of y'all. All three of y'all. Anyways, peace and love to you all. And if you don't, uh, salute the squad. And if you don't got your bars up, then you got to definitely hold this L. In the meantime, like I said, get your bars up. That's it. Super simple. Holla at your boy. Yeah, sick of dreaming of my old chick. Sick of being on some broke shit. Sick of showing no emotions. Got a nigga losing focus. So I'm going on a road trip. Got my bags packed with some dro lit during COVID. When I wrote this masterpiece, Magnum Opus. I ain't joking. I hope this more for me. It costs to live. We can explore for free. Dreams of waking up on a gorgeous beach. Lazy. I never could have. Yeah, get your thoughts out of media, man. I appreciate you having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.